It's RM Kids time where we learn about Jesus. It's RM Kids time and how we came to save us. It's RM Kids time, many fun things we do. It's RM Kids time, inviting you to view. Hi, welcome to our Daddy and Me special. Let's pray. Almighty God, as we observe Father's Day, we love all the fathers to you with adoration and love. I pray that all fathers take their role as caregivers, mentor, provider, best friend, and so much more. I pray health, strength, and blessing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hi, everyone. I'm Auntie Carisha.
verse 7 says, The righteous man walks in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. What does it say, kids? Proverbs chapter 20 verse 7 says, The righteous man walks in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. Amen. May God be praised. Welcome back to RM Kids Time. It's Isabella Mendoza here. And if you didn't know, tomorrow is Father's Day. So I brought my father, Stephen Mendoza, here to be interviewed by me. So I'm going to let him introduce himself to you. Hi, boys and girls. I am Pastor Stephen Mendoza. According to Isabella, I'm her daddy. And I am just waiting to hear what my daughter is going to ask me today. I guess how to do something with Father's Day. Yes, it is. So the first question is, what is the role of a father? Oh, the role of a father. Nice question. You know, the father uh, has several rules, uh, we will call several hats. But you know what I think the main thing, Isabella? Uh, a father must be able to provide for his children. The scriptures say, if I cannot provide for my home, I am worse than an infidel. I am worse than a person who is even incapable. I am worse than an unbeliever. So... Every Christian father must be able to provide for his home, like, you know, for your food, your clothing, yeah. your shelter, your education, your transport, all different kind of things. But I must be able to provide for you. Okay. What about protecting? Yes. I love the protecting thing. I am not permitted to have a gun. Yes. And I don't know karate either. Well, yeah. So protection doesn't necessarily mean I have to do self-defense. I must, however, know who I'm exposing you to. I must uh, make sure that you are not exposed to danger as much as is possible. So people who that I would consider to be suspect, I would tell you, keep away from these people, you know, or I myself will make sure that you are just not in their presence. Okay. Isabella, though, yes. I need to protect you from yourself. What do you mean? Well, sometimes as a child, you may want something, you may want to do something, you may want to go somewhere mm. that I consider to be dangerous, but you don't consider to be dangerous. So I have to sometimes deny you things, but in the long run, as you get older, you would reflect and say, Dad, I want to thank you for, yeah. for being firm, you know, because I didn't realize the danger. So I also have to protect you from yourself. So is there anything else? Oh, well... Training up a child, a uh, parent has to train up a child the way they should go according to the scripture. And if I train you in this way, the scripture assures me that you would not depart from it. So it is very important that I train you, not just tell you, but I know you see mommy and I pray, you see mommy and I read our Bibles, you see us holding family prayer gathering. Yeah. That is for you to have, to have faith in God. So you will trust God, you will read, read your Bible. We keep telling you everything. Mommy, this, she said, pray. And I say, let us pray. What about when you're training hard? Yes, and I want to come out of the water because my body hurting. In Jesus' name, I pray. Go back, go back. <laughs> but, and what, do you get energy or don't get no. energy? Oh, yes, you finish your set harder. But you know, well, Bella, I, so. uh, I have to train you to have etiquette i have to train you how to relate and things like that with people so um it's really important that i that i give you a proper upbringing yes so what about education education is a really important thing i believe personally believe that education can improve your financial status in life take you out of poverty you know um so for, for me my goal in the home is that none of my children should have less than a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's degree is really the first graduate degree that you'll get um, in university. Okay. Um, however, that being said, that is what you will call official or structured education. There's a other type of education. Like what? Well, in just teaching you how to appreciate culture, teach you how to, the different type of foods there are, how to make you be exposed to your own ethnicity. You are a mixed ethnicity. I took you to India. So you would appreciate going through an airport. All that is education. How to use different currencies. 
um, how to relate to people of different standing in life, you know, how to relate to the poor, because I take you when we go and share food for the vagrants and we share food for the less fortunate. I take you. So all of that is education. And sometimes even, sometimes a neighbor may not be getting on good. I'll say, Isabella, I have to teach you how to deal with these people also. You understand? So yeah. all that is education is well-rounded. And let me just say before we close up in this education, there are some things that I might also disagree with that they may want to teach you in school. This, they call it education, and I'm saying you would not appreciate it the way they appreciate like One example, they say you came from a monkey, that we men, well, yeah. human beings. And I, I, tell I honestly you, don't believe that because I know we came from God. Right. Because he that, taught me that. And that's what education yes. is also. What we would reject and refuse and what we would accept. Yes. So last thing, Daddy, what about goals? Right. Well, there'll be two types of goals. There'll be one that I would try to set for you as a child because as a child, I will have to teach you how to look fine to the future, yes. right? Because children just want to look for today alone, mm -hmm. right? So I have to teach you, like I was talking about your bachelor's degree, uh, but I will have to teach you about house and land and how to achieve that, what you want to become in life. Now, for you to become that, I will have to break down those things into smaller goals, like, okay, you're into SEA level, try and become, do your best at SEA. Yeah. And then when you go five years, try and do your best at CSEC, try and do your best at CAEP, try, you understand? Yeah. Different goals to get your milestones and achieve those goals. And for you to also know that you yourself can want to set big goals. And you know what? It is for me to tell you, Isabella, you can. Mm -hmm. Isabella, you can. You know, I believe that you could make it to Olympics. It is for uh, you to believe that, yeah. you know, and, and so that is what fathers do. Fathers inspire their children. They don't break them and tell them you will never be. No, fathers inspire children and allow them to dream big. Right. So, yes, that is the end of the interview. Now I just have a small tribute. Um, I wrote this tribute specifically for my father, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Okay. I just want to thank you, Daddy, for all the love that you have given me and for all the fun we have together, including last night when we played Pillow Fight and you knocked me out. Well, you lost. Well, yeah. Thank you for always believing that I can do things that seem to be obstacles, like the hard main set and swim training that has me dying. But I always come out grateful to have a coach like you. Thank you for being a spiritual and wonderful father. God is truly the number one creator. Oh my God, darling, come on, give me a kiss. Mm, thank you. That was so. That yeah. was that was excellent, Isabella. That thank was wonderful. You. So now I just have a present for you from the CE Christian Education the, um, the Department. Department, yes. yes, in Revival Mission Church. We hope you have a wonderful Father's Day. And to all the fathers, I hope you guys have a wonderful Father's Day. And I hope all your children appreciate you today. But not only today, every day of your life. So, bye. And to all the fathers, happy Father's Day. Big you up, guys. God bless. Bye-bye. Yeah.